I'm gonna show you how to replace the water pump on this Ram 1500. This happens to be on the 3.6 liter V6 engine. If you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. Let's get started. Okay, with an 18 millimeter socket, I'm gonna loosen up the drain. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. And you want to make sure you do this while the vehicle is cold. You don't want to do this while the vehicle is still hot. And drain the coolant out. Now to help it drain, we'll take the cap off. It's going to help it drain a lot quicker. We're going to take the serpentine belt off. I'm going to use a 3 8 extension. Loosen the tension on the tensioner. Slide the belt off. Slide it off the alternator. Then you can loosen, release the tensioner. You can take the belt off the crank, off the water pump, and off the AC compressor. Slide that out of the way. I'm going to take this lower hose off. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. I'm just going to use a hose clamp tool, hose clamp pliers. Try to slide the hose clamp off or down. Just grab the hose, give it a twist. See if you can break it free. If not, you can get a pick. I'm just going to use a pick. Just get underneath here. Let's go the rest of the way around. You know, let that drain. Just pull that out. Now I'll take this hose off. The same, just a hose clamp tool. Slide that down. Use a pick. Grab the hose, turn it back and forth, and slide it down. You might lose a little coolant. Using a 13 millimeter socket, take this pulley out. Slide that out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna take some of the bolts out around the water pump. This bolt, I'm gonna use a 16 millimeter socket, loosen it up. And take that bolt out. And this bolt, it's a 13 millimeter socket. Take that bolt out. And using a pry bar, let's pry it off. Slide it off. 
Now just taking your razor blade or a scraper, you just wanna scrape off any excess gasket material or corrosion. You could also use a little bit of sandpaper or emery cloth. Just clean it up a little bit so it's smooth. And then you can wipe this down with some brake parts cleaner. Let it dry. Take the water pump gasket, the water pump, line that up. Get that in position and get some of the bolts started. The bigger one, get that lined up. Once those are in, you can let go of the water pump. And just get the other bolts started. And I'll put the short, shorter screws in. There's one more up top. I'm gonna put the longer bolts in. There is this little alignment grommet that's on there. So get those lined up. You could actually take those out, push those in first, or at least get them down further on the screw. That's just gonna align the water pump. there. And this bolt. And then we have the pulley. We'll snug these down. larger bolt. It's a little harder to get to with a torque wrench, but you want to torque that to 41 foot-pounds. The idler and this other bolt here, we're going to torque those to 18 foot-pounds. And all the small ones, we're going to torque those to 9 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna put the hoses on. I'm gonna move the hose clamp up first. It'll slide it on. Release the pliers. Do the same on the other one. Slide it on. And release it. Now take the belt. I'm going to go over the AC compressor around the water pump. Around the crankshaft pulley. Up over the tensioner and back over the alternator. And over the idler. 
and take it off the water pump. We're going to go around the alternator first on the top here. Try to get this lined up. Take the tension off. Ah, there we go. And line it up. So it's a lot easier to go over the water pump with it than the other tent. The other pulleys, make sure that's all lined up. Looks good. Yeah, that all looks good. Now we're gonna close the drain. Just snug it down, not too tight. You can also use a hex socket, a 10 millimeter hex socket. That works as well. Now I just have a funnel in the radiator and I'm just gonna fill it with the appropriate type of coolant. That coolant's full. Now I can take the funnel out. Put the radiator cap on. Then you wanna run the vehicle for about 15 minutes, checking to make sure it gets up to operating temperature and make sure the engine isn't overheating. After that, shut the vehicle down, let it cool for a while. After it's cooled down, check and adjust accordingly. Well, I hope this video helped you out, and if you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1aauto.com, and you can watch all those repair videos to help you with your installs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.